Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to get Twitter data into Google Sheets using a free API. First, open any type of preferred browser on your PC and search for rapidapi.com. After that, sign into your account and you will be redirected to the home page. Now, if you go to the API marketplace, you will be able to see all of the available APIs that you can use. You can just look around the whole section of the marketplace and find the ones you prefer. If I go to the search bar at the top and search for Twitter, you can see that all of the APIs related to the topic I just searched have appeared on my screen. We've got website contact scraper, Twitter API, and some others along with it. For this example, I'm going to use the Twitter API. Simply click on the target API and this type of window will open up. Here, you will have all of the required details like API key, endpoints, and code snippets. In order to get started with a certain API, you will need to subscribe to it first. For that, click on the subscribe to test button at top right corner and all of the available plans will start displaying. We've got the basic plan, pro plan, ultra plan, and the mega plan. All of these are priced differently and have different perks to them. So make sure to look for the one that you would like to subscribe to and click on the choose this plan button. If you don't want to get a paid plan, you can also go with the basic to get the API for free. After selecting the plan, make sure to link a debit or credit card with your account. Once linked, click on the subscribe button to complete the subscription process. After the subscription is successful, you will have a congratulatory message showing up. Now, the next step is to select the target endpoint. In this API, there are various endpoints available and you can choose any one of them. But if you're integrating a different API, then the number of endpoints may differ. After selecting a specific endpoint, get to the code snippet section at the right side and make sure to select shell and curl in the target and client fields respectively, as this snippet helps in getting the header keys easily. Now that you've got Rapid API set up, it's time to move on to Google Sheets. But first, you'll need to install the Epiphany extension. For that, open a new tab and search for epiphany.io slash install. You can also check out the link in the description below. Just click on it and you'll be taken directly to the download page. Now, click on the install button and open the Google Sheets website in a new tab. Here, create a blank sheet and make sure to sign into the same account you used to install the extension. After installing the extension, open the extensions menu again and the Epiphany extension will start displaying at the bottom of it. Simply click on it and select Import API from the submenu. Now wait for it to load and a new side panel will appear on your screen. You will have the URL field at the top, then the reference and cell value section beneath it. For the URL, Go back to the Rapid API website and then copy the URL from the Code Snippets tab. Once copied, go back to Google Sheets and then paste the link into the top bar. As for the headers, make sure to add two new fields. Again, get to the Rapid API website, copy the first part of the header code and then paste it into the key field. Now copy the other half of the code and paste it into the value field. Simply repeat the same process for the other key present below the first one. Once done, click on the Run button in the extension menu and a new pop-up will open up. Again, click on the Run button and wait for the data to be imported. You can see that we've got the required Twitter data as we selected the trends endpoint. In order to change the API parameters, get back to Rapid API and then access the Params tab from the top. You can then choose the deciding parameter for your API. This can be something related to your API, like trends in the country of interest. You can also click on the blue link embedded below the parameter to get the list of country IDs. Just look for the preferred one and enter its code into the parameter column. After I change the parameter, you can see that the URL address changes for the API key. Simply paste this URL into the dedicated bar and then run it to get the preferred results. Note that there are no limits to selecting APIs, so make sure to select whichever one you prefer and then import data into your Google Sheets based on that. So that's how you can find and use free APIs in Rapid API 
along with the Epiphany add-on to get any data you want into your Google Sheet. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or contact our support team. Thanks for watching and have a great day.